Hey, stop looking at your phone for a second. It's the James Show, News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93. Madonna? Who is in charge of that? I thought so. I thought so. I'll have a talk with him. Hey, so there's been a spike in heart disease, and people can't figure it out. And anything that happens over the last four or so years... Some people are going to blame COVID. Some people are going to blame the vaccine. So we're going to ask a doctor. Fammy Farah is back on the show. Hey, Dr. Farah, welcome back to the James Show. Uh, so in this study, what do you think as a doctor is the culprit here in the spike in heart disease deaths? Hey there. It's great to be back on your show. Yeah, I think uh, it's multifactorial, this, this spike that we're seeing. Certainly COVID did have something to do with hang it. On, hang on, hang on. Did you say multifactorial? Yes. Instead, instead of has a lot of factors. Yes, uh, I think there are more than one thing that's probably contributing to the statistic. Um, Doctors are funny. Really, <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It's funny you call me out on that word. <laughs> well, factorial. I, I'm like uh, in my math brain. I'm like, oh, well, that's a that's a mathematic function. But no, we're not talking about math factorials. Anyway, go no, ahead. I just I'm, I'm amused by my doctor friends. <laughs> I have other friends that are doctors and they talk like this too. And it's, it cracks me up. So anyway, go ahead. Back to science. Yeah, so I, I definitely think that COVID had something to do with it. The virus itself we know is linked to increasing uh, cardiovascular disease. There was a study done that came out last year that looked at, you know, more than a million uh, patients. This is a VA study. And it showed that COVID had increased the rate of heart disease by quite a bit. And across the board, like, 20 different heart conditions were looked at, and it had an increase in all of those as a result of the virus. So, yes, uh, we, we do think that virus had a lot to do with it. But more than that, you know, during the pandemic, and we just recently came out of the pandemic, a lot of habits had changed. You know, people were not able to have access to healthy foods all that much, and they were not really going out to the gym. So a lot of habits have changed. Uh, people were stuck inside depression, mental health took a toll on people's heart health as well. So in the comment section, I, I think more than half of the people are pointing the finger at the vaccine. Can we attribute or deny that the vaccine's involved? It's highly unlikely that the vaccine is the cause behind uh, the increased rate. It's, it's more likely to be the virus itself. They don't go into that in the study, though. How do we know that? Uh, we know that from other, uh, you know, we have been... Uh, studying the virus for some time and the vaccine. And true, like we, we do know there have been some reported cases of heart conditions, um, you know, as a result of the vaccine, for example, we did see uh, cases of myocarditis uh, as well as heart failure in, in certain instances with the vaccine. But those are very far and in between, very rare incidences. Uh, but the vast majority actually benefited from the vaccine. And the majority of the heart condition and heart issues that have come about uh, the data thus far have uh, has linked it to the virus more so than the vaccine. How much of this, uh, if you are concerned about heart disease, can be ameliorated by exercising on a regular basis? I know people hate exercise. It's the worst thing in the world. People would rather have bariatric surgery or rip half their guts out or take a shot that makes them sick or just anything but exercise. Exercise is crucial for your heart health. Uh, and, you know, I tell people, like, you know, it's true that every 34 seconds, one American dies from heart disease. It is the number one killer. But the silver lining is that 80% of heart disease is preventable if you do the right things. And two of the major things of doing those right things would be diet and exercise. So you, you're absolutely right. There's no way around exercising to get, get a heart-healthy, a heart um, you know, body. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Fami Farah, interrupting heart surgery to come talk to you about uh, the rise in heart disease. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You buy that? You buy that? It's not the, that has, we, we know it's not the vaccine. vaccine has nothing to do with it. We just, we just know that, that. I know. I've heard other doctors say different. Did you say that on the air? Just in my ear. Just in my ear. Yeah. I know other doctors have had, said other things. Some of them have to be right. Some of them are wrong here. All right, because that's what I'm going to talk about next. There's another uh, COVID situation that has been uncovered. And I, I could have done this. And, and hey, what, what what news? What news? What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to do Dead or not Alive next. Yeah. I, okay. After Dead or Alive. Because this could have been shoveled into the uh, the topic of, hey, what should we be talking about instead of this dumb story, doubles, the Daniels Trump trial? Well, one of the things we could be talking about is that Chris Cuomo himself 
was on Don Lemon's show and said, hey, so I've had COVID and I've had some issues uh, with COVID relapsing and some long COVID respiratory issues. And so my doctors have put me on a preventative regimen that includes, you're not going to get, you're not going to believe this. Chris Cuomo is taking ivermectin. Horse paste. Yes. Horse paste. Another thing that was ridiculed, that was called conspiracy theory, that was called anti-science, that was called, you shouldn't listen to your drunk uncle on your Facebook feed, you should only listen to experts and doctors, turned out to be wrong, and your drunk uncle was right. Or the Mennonite Amish people in the horse buggies uh, wheeling around western Pennsylvania were more accurate than the doctors. Anyway, we'll do that after Dead or Alive, coming up next on The James Show. News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3.